we we start with uh, with Mariana Emma the character of Emma Mariana the Girona. we started like three months before so basically there was like a, three of my dancers my assistants uh, working with her I, it was a lot about like consciousness like body consciousness and, and allowing her to to be confident with, with her body in terms of a, a movement like a because she it, that was one of the main things. It was very about making her confident that like, you can move, you can dance. Um, no, less about showing or teaching her movements, like a fixed movement, but more like a, about um, making her confident about her express herself through the movement that we wanted to feel, to, to make her feel um, yeah, free, like a, you know, confident, free with 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 her body in motion. That was a, like a three months process, and and then like a month before, I think of, of the shooting, we started with, with the whole crew of of actresses, and that was already like a a, a movement set material that we started like teaching them and repeating and repeating and repeating many 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 times. For some of them were really heavy like hard and it, it was um, it was very challenging for me as a director to to keep them interested and also motivated but um they were great i mean they were really tough they were really hard workers and uh, and for the the ones who weren't very easy because it was a fair experience uh, of a, of a work working in this way at the end they all arrived to a, a great level of uh, freedom and, uh, and confidence. I think, yeah. they, they, and, they, and at the end, I think they really enjoy it. They want, they really wanted to perform the movements again and again and again. And I think you could see that in the in the screen. You could see how how empowered empowered they are with the with the movement and the, and the dance material. It was the idea, but he was mainly like spying me. When I was working, I realized that like I didn't, I didn't really actually know it. But uh, then I realized it because every time I was working, then I, I have this feeling like somebody's eyes here, and then I look, and he was there, and then he was there. Like <laughs> in every corner, he was hidden, like looking at what, what I was doing. And it was funny because um, they <laughs> they cut his his hair like I was I was having it at that time. It was funny to see that when he finally arrived to <laughs> to the um, to the first shooting day, whatever. And he he had like my haircut. I was like, what? <laughs> I think it was a <laughs> a way of um, I don't know. It was funny. It was funny that. But um, yeah, he was mainly like observing, observing my, my, my way of working. This year I'm supposed to be in Hamburg and hopefully next year and I'm gonna, I'm actually, apparently we're doing the performance we didn't do this year. So I'm back in March probably in Hamburg. Then I, I was invited to a festival in France, a music festival to give a, a couple of workshops and that also didn't happen. Hopefully it's gonna happen this year. And then also I was going to work in an opera in September, from September to December in Vaughan in Germany as well. It's a, it's a premiere, it's an, it's an opera premiere, it's called Awakening. I was invited for a musician. Uh, he also met me performing Rito de Primavera in Amsterdam in the Holland Festival. And he, he liked the work and he, he had been trying to work with me all these years. It finally happens and <laughs> it didn't happen, but it's gonna happen this year. So it's this opera, um, Awakening, where the music is by Param Beer. He's a British um, Indian composer. It's, it's very well known and it's gonna be in Vaughan. And so I think I will be doing that thing next year. Mm -hmm.